Welcome to this introduction to the many different looks and feels of Limb Gallery, another new superior product created by I2S, a global leader in high definition scanners with accompanying software of similar quality. The Limb Suite has been designed as tools to automate seamlessly the entire digitization process from the start to the completion of publishing content into a virtual digital library, as well as have an option for long term storage needs. Limb Capture, for example, is the standard software that comes with every scanner and creates the raw file through scanning. Limb processing takes that file and configures it into whatever type of file the library needs, complete with the metadata and having the text go through an OCR process. The file can then be outputted into various and multiple formats. Limb Gallery can then take and ingest that file and publish it into a digital virtual library. What makes Limb Gallery unique is not only is this workflow seamless between each product, but they can each operate independently of each other. As for Limb Gallery itself, it is made up of two interfaces, a customized user, user interface and an administrative module that we call the back office. So instead of I2S dictating what your virtual library must look like, almost everything in Limb Gallery can be customized through this back office. So an example of what I mean, is I'm going to show you five different examples of different clients that use Limb Gallery. Here's the first one, and I go to the search box and I'll just type in Paris. And you can see the look and feel of this one right now. This is how they have theirs look. I search for this and it gives me a results page for them. It has facets and that's another webinar we can show you, but this is just a basic look and a feel that they have. And if I go to an individual record, even more metadata, but it's really simple, but this is how they have set theirs up to look. I go another one, a newspaper, and I'll search again just for something simple like Paris. And in this case, again, a simple results page. I can select the record. They really don't have very much metadata. I can click on the image and it gives me all the different images that they have. And there's thumbnails of all the different pages that they have. Again, this is just another look and a feel. Here's yet another look and a feel, another library that uses Limb Gallery. And again, the same thing. If I search for something like France, here's its results page. Facets again on the right hand side as a way to narrow down the results. I select one and this is my results page, an individual record with lots of different metadata that they have put in to their record. Still, if I want to go even more to another uh, look and feel, this is one from Switzerland, and it too has a little bit of difference to it. Each of these have chosen to have thumbnails in the results screen, and here's their individual record. One of my favorites is out of France, this library. They have different collections and exhibits. They even have a little rotating box of new materials that is here on the very bottom. They have contact information, maps. All these things are all part of Limb Gallery that you can add to it. When I search for, again, something like Paris, here is their look and feel, similar to the other ones, but a little bit different. I like on when I select on this record, there are similar documents as well that they have come put in there that we can explain about at a future webinar, but these are all things that is pulled in that they're displaying that other ones have not. Contrast this to our own Limb Gallery demo site where we've made it into an entire website. So not only are we just searching our metadata and our catalog of records, we've made this into a website complete with services, references, contacts. If we wanna see our records, I can come in to visit our library, go to records. And you can see it looks different than the other ones. This menu on the left-hand side looks different. If I search for something here, keeping the same theme as Paris, and I have something else typed in there as why. Here I can see I have results. When I click on one of these results, this looks different than the other ones. It has the main information right here. If I scroll to the bottom of the page, that's where all my metadata is contained. Again, I have all the thumbnails that are there. Each one has a different look and feel, and you can customize that yourself from the back office. From the back office, this is where all the administration goes on. 
including all the various setups. I can go here to the back office, and if I come down here to Appearances, I can see there's a thing called Themes. So a library starts off by picking one of four default themes. There's the default, there's the Lions, there's the Spectral, and there's the Split. These are four main themes that you start with, more like a skeleton that you then add to. Once you select one, you copy it, give it a new name, and then you build on that with a feature that you want it so that's your own unique look and feel. This is just one example of one of the many features that's contained in Lim Gallery that sets it apart from other products that are similar to this. For, for more information about other features or other products, please send us an email at i2s at i2s.fr. We'll be happy to show more as to why Lim Gallery is unique and much more affordable than other similar products. Thank you.